Hey everyone, it's Matt here. Welcome back to another episode of Savant's Tech Talk. Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Bitcoin XT, Bitcoin Classic. Why are there so many cryptos with the name Bitcoin? Bitcoin's design is public with an open source code that anybody can take part in. No one owns or controls it. Its huge community has made changes to the original currency, resulting in different versions of the same coin. These versions are known as forks. In today's video, I'll cover what forks are and also look at both hard and soft forks. As always, if you find this topic interesting, then you can let us know by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. You can also let us know by leaving a comment in the comment section down below. Now let's jump into it. I want you to picture in your mind just for a minute, a very complex and technologically advanced tool, the fork. The fork has one handle where you place your hand, but this handle goes ahead and splits into four, or in some cases, three separate entities that you can use to pick up your food. This is the same way that forks in the blockchain are. A project on the blockchain will start as one and then split later on because of disagreements within its community. Let's look at a common example. Bitcoin. New Bitcoins are created by many participants in the community known as miners. They verify transactions and add them as blocks to the blockchain. They keep the network secure and ensure that you can't double spend the coins. But of course these communities of miners and developers will not always agree with each other on the way forward. One group may insist on a particular change in the way things are run, while the rest of the group will disagree. When they can't come to a consensus, then this group may decide to go their own way. And when this happens, we say a fork has occurred. Since the two communities couldn't agree, they take their separate paths. The blockchain is duplicated and splits into two where they can now implement the design solutions independently. Depending on the nature of the decision, a fork can be categorized into two categories, a hard fork and a soft fork. So let's have a look at a hard fork. This happens when an irreversible change occurs on the blockchain. Just the same way it's not possible to change a loaf of bread back into its ingredients, a hard fork can't be undone. This is what happened on August 1st, 2017 in the case of Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. They both share transaction history until the time of the split. Now let's look at a soft fork. As I'm sure you probably already guessed, the soft fork is reversible. The community may unanimously decide to make changes in the software. The changes made in these cases are backward compatible, making them easily reversible. You can think of it as putting some water in the freezer to form ice cubes. If you don't like the ice cubes, you can always take them out and they'll melt back into the water. So if the community doesn't like the changes they made to the project, they can go back to a version that they were comfortable with. You can wake up one day and decide to make a new version of Bitcoin too. Most projects have open source codes, so technically anyone with the skills can make changes. But this is easier said than done. You need to have an array of technical requirements to make changes to blockchain software. On the Bitcoin network, there's been 105 Bitcoin fork projects. Only 74 of them are still active projects, while the rest had a slow death and are not relevant anymore. So there we have it. We've covered what forks are, and looked at both hard and soft forks. Once again, if you found this interesting or helpful, then don't forget to let us know if you haven't already by hitting that like button and subscribing to this channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.